Hi, and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be looking at comparison operators. And just to get things started, I thought I'd show you a table. So here we have a selection of comparison operators. The first one is equal to, and this is one we generally use to compare two products to make sure that they're the same. Then we have not equal to, so that's totally the opposite. We have less than, which is great for numerics, and also less than or equal to. And finally, we've got greater than or greater than or equal to. So what I thought I would do is just quickly show you what these look like when we're actually programming. So let's get over to IntelliJ just to get things started. Okay, so here we are in IntelliJ, and I'm just going to start up a new class. So we're going to do some comparison operations. I would call this comparison operations. Seems quite fitting considering that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, I'm going to create a main method so that we can do all the work within it. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a couple of variables. I'm going to set up an integer variable. So we're going to call it integer num1. In fact, let's uh, zoom in on this a bit so we can make it slightly bigger. And I'm going to let it equal one. I'm going to let it equal one. And then I'm going to set up a second number variable. And we're going to let that equal two. I'm going to set up a third one, actually, int num3. And I'm going to let that equal to also integers that we can work with. Now, anytime we're doing a comparison, we can do that in any form. We can do it in certain statements. We can do it in loops. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to output the results. So I'm going to use the print line. And what we're going to do is simply find out what's what here. So num1 equals equals num2. So this is that first one, the equals two. Let's have a look and see what we get as a result. So what we're looking at to see if num1 equals num2. And if you thought about this, it should come up false. And there you go, it's coming out false. If we want to make that true, what we can do is we can make num3. Check to see if num3 is equal to two. Let's run that for a moment. And as you can see, that's come up true because two and two are equal. Okay, so let's have a look at those two if they're not equal. So we'll run that. Two does not equal two would come up false. That's right. But if we change this one back to one, let's do that. And now run it. There you go. So it's true because one does not equal two. So we're happy with that. The next one we're going to have a look at is less than. So we'll do that one first. So is num one less than num two? We'll run that, and it is, because one is less than two. We can do also equals on this one. So let's run that, and again, that is true. Now, if I change this value to three, and we run it, sure enough, it will come up true. And that's simply because num3 and num2 have the same value, so they do equal, and this is less than or equals to. So that works perfectly fine. And you'll see the same if I change that to greater than. So if I change that to greater than and run it, that will also come up true. However, if I set this back to num1 and run it, let's have a look, see what we've got. Okay, it's false, because one is not greater than two. OK, so hopefully you've got the understanding of what we're doing with comparison operators. We're simply putting the two values on either side and checking them out. OK, so that's pretty good. That's that's fairly easy to do. So we can actually check multiple comparisons. So let's just put that up on the screen now. OK, so what if we want to check two or more conditions? So what we can do is I'm going to use some truth tables to look at some logic gates. The first logic gate we're going to look at is the AND logic gate. And this is quite a simple one to wrap your head around. The only way that this is going to be true is if both sides are also true. So if the comparison of A and the comparison of B are both true, the result will be true. If either one of those is false, then the result is going to be false. Now we've got the OR gate. With the OR gate, if they're both true or one or the other is true, then the result is going to be true. The only time we're ever going to get a false reading if both are false. And the not gate basically reverses the result of the comparison. So if the comparison is true, it'll come back false. If the comparison is false, it'll come back true. So why not have a look at that now in our Java example and see exactly what's going on. 
Now, I can't just type in the word and, it doesn't particularly like that. Okay, so what I need to do is use the ampersand and use two of them together like that. Now, what we're seeing at the moment is a false result. Okay, so the false result on num1 is greater than or equal to num2. That is false. Let's actually change that so it's true. So I'm gonna make this one two and this one over here one. Num2 is greater than or equal to num1. And also um, something else that we can do, let's say num3 is, oops, is <laughs> equal to num3. Okay, so I should be okay with that. The problem is we've actually got these two sets. Um, ideally, what we wanna do is we wanna wrap them in brackets. So let's just do that. Like so. So what we have is we have num2 is greater than num1 and num3 is greater than, or rather equals num3. Let's run that for a moment, see what we get. It is true. Because we've got the and, and this side is true, and this side is true, then the result is going to be true. If either of these are false, so let's make this one false. So I'm gonna say not equal to and run it. The result will come back false. Okay, now let's have a look at what happens if we change this to or. Now again, I can't type in the word or like so, but what we do is we use these vertical lines, they're called pipes, and they're found on the left of the Z key. So let's run that for a moment. When we use the and gate, we got a false, let's run it with an or gate, and we've got true. So it's happy with that, one of these is true and it's this one here. Because this one's true and this one's false, this one is allowing it to go through as a truth table. Now if I was to switch this and make it a false statement like that and then run it, the results will be false because both of them are false. So as long as one of these is true or both of them are true, the result will come back true for a or Okay, so the last one we're gonna look at is what happens if we use a not. So let's just do that a moment. So I'm gonna take that away. And what we'll do is we'll just run this equation and see what comes out. So the result is false. So we've already established num2 is not less than num1. What if I was to make it not true? And then run it. Well, you'll see now that it's actually reversed it into a true. So by putting an exclamation mark at the beginning of this statement. This statement is gonna generate a false. This is gonna reverse that to a true. So that's how we use our comparison operators. And also you've now been able to use and, or, and not. I hope you've liked this video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, and you will be notified of any new content that I add. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you again. Bye.